Good morning, dear students. Today we will start with our new chapter that is hydrocarbon. In hydrocarbon, we will study about alkane, alkene, alkyne, and benzene. What we will study? We will study about the general introduction of alkane, alkene, alkyne, and aromatic hydrocarbon that is benzene. Then we will talk about their method of preparation. How these compounds can be prepared? So it will be your part of method of preparation. Chemical reactions by the help of which alkane, alkene, alkyne and benzene can be prepared. Then we will talk about some physical properties like their solubility, melting point, boiling point etc. etc. Physical properties of alkane, alkene, alkyne and benzene. And at last we will talk about chemical properties or chemical reactions of alkane, alkene, alkyne and benzene. In chemical properties, we will talk about which compounds can be prepared by using alkane, alkene, alkene, sorry alkyne and benzene. So let us start with our first topic that is alkane. You know it very well. It was taught to you in class 10th. The alkanes are the saturated hydrocarbons. So here we can define alkanes are the saturated aliphatic hydrocarbons. Whenever the saturated is there, it means there is a single bond between carbon carbon atom. Alkanes are saturated aliphatic hydrocarbon with general molecular formula CN H2N plus 2. This is the general molecular formula of members of alkane. Whenever carbon forms single bond with another carbon atom. Then its bond length is always 1.54 angstrom. 1 angstrom means 10 to the power minus 10 meter. Whenever a single bond is there, or whenever we talk about alkane, then their geometry is always tetrahedral, where bond angle between hydrogen, carbon, and hydrogen is having value. 109 degree 28 minutes. Alkanes are also called paraffins due to their little reactivity. Alkanes do not undergo chemical reactions with most of the reagents. That's why they are also called paraffins is derived from param equals to little affin equals to affinity. They have less affinity for other reagents. That's why they are also called paraffins. So important part between carbon carbon single bond bond length is 1.54 and strong. Their general molecular formula is CnH2n plus 2. They are also called paraffins due to their little reactivity. Now, let us talk about their method of preparation, how alkanes can be prepared. And for its preparation, first we are using unsaturated hydrocarbons like 
alkenes and alkynes the reaction is called hydrogenation of alkene or alkyne or it is also called reduction of alkene and alkyne because in this reaction we will add hydrogen atoms two carbon atoms which are forming double bond or triple bond so alkene and alkynes can be used for the preparation of alkanes and the reaction is called hydrogenation or reduction of unsaturated hydrocarbons now to carry out this reaction we will need h2 gas in presence of metal nickel or we can also use h2 gas in presence of platinum or we can also use h2 gas in presence of palladium we can use any of the reagent h2 in presence of nickel or it can be h2 in presence of platinum or it can be h2 in presence of palladium what happens when h2 gas is used with nickel platinum or palladium then the double bond or triple bond present between carbon carbon atom gets converted to single bond so if a ch2 double bond ch2 which is called ethene is used when h2 gas in presence of ni then double bond will be converted to single bond and we will be getting ethene 1h will be added here 1h will be added here if we use ch triple bond ch that is your ethene in presence of h2 gas and the nickel then two molecules of hydrogen gas will be utilized here it is one h2 molecule here it will be of two h2 molecule so balancing is not required if you are using h2 gas in presence of nickel automatically it will convert double bond to single bond or triple bond to single bond so ethene will be converted to cs3 single bond cs3 so by this manner unsaturated hydrocarbons can be converted to saturated hydrocarbons now the next case in next case we will be using haloalkanes or alkyl halides alkyl halides can be converted to alkene so number second is your reduction of alkyl halide general representation of alkyl halide is your rx rh is the general representation of alkene and rx is the general representation of alkyl halide or haloalkene means what we have to do we have to replace halogen atom by hydrogen it means we are removing an electronegative atom and we are adding hydrogen so according to classical concept removal of electronegative atom or removal of non metal is called reduction addition of hydrogen is called reduction so x is removed and h is added to carry out reduction of rx we will be requiring reducing agents it can be lithium aluminum hydride Li LH4. It can be sodium borohydride. It can be H2 gas in presence of nickel, platinum, or palladium, etc. So, if we use lithium 
aluminium hydride then H will be replaced and H will be placed and Rx will be converted to Rh so in this manner alkyl halide is converted to alkane example if CH3 CH2 Br that is your bromoethane is used with lithium aluminium hydride Br will be replaced by H as a result of which we will obtain CH3CH3 which is called your ethane so haloalkanes or alkyl halides on reduction gives you alkane as the product now number third alkyl halide can also be used to convert to alkane by one more method and this is your very important method which is called Wood's reaction now why it is important it is important Wood's reaction is important because if we start with two carbon atom in alkyl halide or haloalkane then the alkane formed will be having carbon atom just double if you start with two carbon you will be having four carbon atoms in alkane if you start with three carbon then you will be having six carbon atom present in alkane and if you start with four carbon atom then you will be having eight carbon atoms present in alkane so the reactions in which number of carbon atoms are increased when the product is having more carbon atom than the reactant then the reaction is called a step up reaction and Wood's reaction is an important example of a step up reaction now what we'll be using here we will be using alkyl chloride alkyl bromide or alkyl iodide with sodium metal so how this reaction takes place is important Rx X can be Cl Br or I reacts with 2 Na one more mole of Rx 2 moles of Rx reacts with 2 moles of Na in presence of ether as a medium medium is required for a chemical reaction to take place we cannot use water here because sodium is highly reactive towards water we need inert solvent and here inert solvent is your ether now what happened Na with X Na with X will be removed in the form of NAX which is called sodium halide now when X is removed from here it creates a bond deficiency of 1 over this carbon when X is removed from here it creates a bond deficiency of 1 over this carbon so this carbon atom is a one bond deficient this carbon atom is also one bond deficient so R will form a new bond with R as a result of which we will get RR and sodium halide is removed if Rx contain C equals to N, N is the number of carbon atom present in Rx, then the alkane produced will be having C equals to 2N carbon atom, just the one. Example, if CH3Br is used, which is called bromomethane, having C equals to 1, one carbon atom is there, reacts with 2 moles of Na in presence of ether Na with Br, Na with Br 
will be removed in the form of anemia and CS3 with other CS3 unit gives you CS3 and CS3 which is called ethane. So as a reactant we have used bromomethane but as a product we are getting ethane. So here in ethane the number of carbon atom are 2. So whenever a step of reactions are required we can use Wood's reaction. There are a few more reactions that we will complete in our next lecture. Thank you and have a nice day.